Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Apex Investor. This is your daily update for Tuesday, January the 25th. And we're going to look at Roblox first at the top of this uh, this video. Uh, Roblox is a really good stock, but the question is, will this rally? Because everything is down, including Roblox, which, which is not a sign that uh, the stock is bad. It's a sign that the market is down. So the price is 65.29. The 52 week range is 60 60 dollars uh, to 141 and this has been down recently. Uh, this looks like it broke support. Uh, the support of what is this 70 dollars so it did break support. Uh, I think this could rally but uh, given the economic uh, climate of the day where a lot of people are out of work and they are prioritizing as to what their expenses are made up of. I think Roblox is way down the ladder when it comes to you know paying the bills, groceries, gas, and so on. So uh, I would not invest in this, to be honest. So I'm just going to put that out there. No, I'm not going to invest in Roblox. Metamaterials, on the other hand, yes. Uh, it, it is a company that will change the world in the next 5 to 10 years. Uh, you've got a day's range of 165 to 174. So uh, really good entry point, anywhere under $2, and that's where we are right now. So that's all for Metamaterials. Uh, next is QuantumScape. Wanting to just review this stock and see uh, if we are at the level of support. 52-week uh, range, 1376 So no, you want to wait for it to get down to $13, $14. Uh, this was at 1490 uh yesterday so uh yeah this is a good stock but i wouldn't buy this right now it's it's uh, a stock that you have to wait at least two years uh for this one to uh go up to a hundred dollars it's going to take a while but uh, in all honesty you could go meta materials or you can go quantum scape but i feel like meta materials has a lot more in the pipeline in the short term quantum scape uh their technology is pretty much that's the, they're a one trick pony all they have is their battery and that is still 2 3 years away from mass production AMC <clears throat> excuse me AMC was uh at $15 yesterday so uh i think it is recovering a little bit but uh my prediction is this is going to go down to $6 6 to $10 again uh, given the economic climate, once again, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, the the world is going through turmoil and so many levels and possible war coming as well in Europe, uh, specifically Russia and Ukraine. I think you might see some a war break out there, so that's going to turn the market sour, in my opinion. So $16. Let's see what happened on Monday. Yeah, it did go down to... 14 so uh, yeah i do think that's on a downward tra trajectory amc is i look at gamestop i know i opened amc twice uh so this will be all for the stock market update i don't know if i'll combine the news with this video might might as well there's not too much in, in the way of news it seems to be mostly negative so uh i like to report on both negative and positive if it is relevant not not fud but just you know factual things so GameStop was at 99 um, on Monday. Yeah, it was at 90, I believe. And uh, was 99 to 104. Sorry, 95. <laughs> My eye is bad. I can't see that too well. Okay. All right. So uh, yeah, this is up a little bit in pre-market. 104 in the pre-market hours. But uh, I believe this is on, on downward trajectory as well you can expect this to, to be at 60 to 90 sometime in the future uh but it was at 90 i'm sorry 87 it was at 87 on monday okay and this next uh these next two are uh what i was uh talking about the other day as to what are the best stocks the best investments in the event of a market crash which is impending it is going to happen it's inevitable uh, bitcoin is being uh, attacked in the media as uh, they're they're spreading fud 
regarding Bitcoin saying it's going to crash. And the reality is uh, it's actually up. It's up 4%. Uh, it was down around 30, 33,000. <laughs> I have to like reach in there. 33,000, it's up almost 40 to 38,000. So it's up, uh, it's coming right back up. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't buy this until it drops down to 30. 30 and below. Yeah, I'd wait for this to go right back down because uh, we have these federal governments, uh, especially the U.S. federal government is planning to uh, uh, enforce stricter regulations on uh, crypto, specifically Bitcoin, because they're planning to release their own uh, digital currency. Uh, we'll see how that turns out, but <laughs> uh, that's their plan anyway moving forward. And uh, anyway, no comment on that. It's a little... I'm not going to comment on that anyway. <laughs> 30, 30,000. A lot of people are talking about uh, that's the plan all along to introduce a, a digital currency, but we'll see. We'll see if that actually pans out and how, if it's successful or not. I don't think it will be, but uh, we'll see. I mean, the government can do what they want, I guess. Um, so 30,000 is the value, the entry point, I should say. If you're looking to get into crypto, crypto Bitcoin, uh, I don't think that's the best idea, and because it's the American government is planning to uh, enforce stricter regulation, so that is a a big warning sign, a red flag as to maybe it's not the wisest idea to go into Bitcoin. It could drop, according to the FUD, at least saying it's going to go down to ten, uh, fourteen thousand dollars. Uh, it could happen, yeah. Okay, my, my apologies for that. It seems uh, whenever I do a video, it never ceases to be an uh, interruption of some sort. So <laughs> my apologies for that. Uh, okay, moving forward, uh, this is the next stock that we're going to look at, and it, we're going to close the video with this one. Uh, DWAC, I believe, is the, the strongest investment you can make moving forward. Uh, the market, as we have seen on Monday and, and in the past, has been very volatile. Uh, it seems no investment is safe, not even Bitcoin at this point, not even crude oil as, as well. You've got GameStop, you've got your meme stocks, you've got your AMCs, you've got meta materials and so on, but this is the only stock moving forward that I think is probably the most secure besides Nintendo, but Nintendo is a slow one. It's, a, it's like a tortoise, but it does go up, it does go down, and it is going to be here pretty much forever. But, uh, well, not forever, but you know what I mean, until <laughs> till Kingdom Come. The EWAC is probably the best stock out there right now. Um, and you can count on this going right back up to 100, maybe even 200 come uh, February, March. But by February 21st, you're going to see the hype go through the roof. And this this stock is going to go with it straight to the moon. And 68.98 is a pretty good price. Uh, I don't see it going down to 45. It could go back down to 45, but it uh, doesn't seem likely. It could happen. But uh, when it does, that's your entry point. I'd say 45 to even now. I mean, this is a good price right here. If I had the money, I'd, I'd buy it right now. Uh, because of the <clears throat> the launch on the February 21st. It's going to bring this up. So that's my plan moving forward. I'm going to invest in DWAC. And uh, after that, I'm going to sell it when it reaches a, a peak, maybe 100, maybe 175, 200. That's when I plan to sell it. And then afterwards, I'm going to invest in meta materials uh, because I, I see that as probably the best long-term stock moving forward. And uh, as well, Bitcoin, when it goes down to 30000 So those are the three I'm looking at uh, at this moment, in the short term and the long term. So uh, you can do whatever you want. I'm not a financial advisor or expert, but uh, these are the moves I'm making. So uh, thank you very much for your support and everything. Uh, please give this video a like if you like more content like this. Uh, I may look at the news, but uh, if there's nothing significant, I will not do an update in regards to news. So thank you very much.
Once again, please subscribe. Help us to get to a thousand subscribers so I can uh, focus more on this channel and uh, release more content for you. And uh, help me out. <laughs> Just help me out in life, I guess. Uh, God bless you all and God bless your investments.